Hi everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Paper E. So I just purchased these metallic markers from Hobby Lobby. Let's go ahead and swatch them so we can see what they look like on all the papers. Welcome back everyone. So I recently did a Hobby Lobby clearance haul. I ended up with like 46 items, paid a little over $170, but everything that I purchased from Hobby Lobby was either 50 to 90% off. So it was super marked down on clearance. Um, Hobby Lobby, if you're not familiar, does these types of clearance sales about once a quarter, maybe once every couple of months. Um, and a lot of it is them getting rid of some of the older inventory. They do a lot of like rebranding, they do repackaging, they do repricing. And so every time they hit one of those types of benchmarks, they typically will, you know, kind of out with the old and in with the new. And so sometimes Sometimes the products stay pretty much exactly the same, but it's like the packaging will change or the price will change or something like that. They did do a huge reduction a while back where they really condensed down their crafty items and their crafty like section. Um, but I, I honestly, we really don't know what what are what's like the reason behind each of these clearance markdowns that they do. Um, but I just know that I've seen these pretty pretty regularly. Um, like I said, about once a quarter, and so you can kind of stock up in little segments and get what you need. And then when you find something that does go 75% off, such as these markers that I'm going to be uh, doing some swatches for today, um, that's the time to, sh to stop stop and shop and purchase the item. Because if you know you're going to want it, oftentimes it will eventually go on clearance. If you don't need it right then and there in the moment, just wait because eventually it will and you'll be able to pick it up. So this set of markers right here, um, and if by, by the chance, if you have not seen that Hobby Lobby haul video, I will link it at the very end of this video as well. Okay, so for these markers, these are the brush tip, brush tip metallic markers, 10 piece from the paper studio. It comes with 10 different markers. You see there 3.7 millimeter is the tip. And so it was on clearance for $3.29. You see that? And then the original price was $12.99. So I never probably would have paid, you know, obviously I never would have paid $13 for these markers, but $3.24, I definitely can swing. So a couple things on these, and I sort of saw some of this even after the fact. So it does write on both light and dark paper. Okay, so what I've done here today is I just printed, and this is just like a generic little swatching thing, and what I'll do is I just created this in Excel. Um, I can link the template that I'm using right here um, in case you buy these same markers or really any set of 10 and you can swatch it as well. Um, I'm going to leave one blank. I'm going to put one with craft paper and this is, uh, I believe, the Michaels 65 pound craft paper. And then we've got some black cardstock and this is either the black from, I think this is the black actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I think it's also around 65 to 80 pounds. So I left one blank because this is actually Nina white, solar white uh, cardstock. I think it's like 65 to 80 pound. So I figured this would work. So what we'll do is we'll swatch the different markers and I've got two sheets here, one for uh, the like one set of five markers and another for another set of five. And this is not anything like professional. I just wanted to kind of go through the process of looking what the colors will look like on these different mediums of paper and colors of paper. Um, the other thing that I saw here is it is acid free and then it also is water based. And so that, that usually what that means is you can mix it with some water and it ba basically make like a watercolor. Um, you could do splatters, you could do a ton of different fun goodness. So I think what we might do too is also test the water. So I did just in case, I brought out just a little little watercolor brush. And so I thought that would be neat to just go ahead and try um, if we get a chance. So we might be able to do that in this video as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and, and tick this out. Let me see, it does not have a skew. I don't see a skew number. There's a little product number right there. So I'll sort of show you just in case this is something that you wanna look for. Maybe you can use that little product number. So this is our, our set of markers here. Let me just open it real quick. Okay, so we have our markers here and I'm gonna just leave it like this for now. That way it's just easy to kind of go through. So what I'm gonna do is, again, I have two sheets here. I'm gonna do some marker and then I think what I might even do is leave this box open and try the watercolor effect in this box and then try a craft marking and a black marking. So we're gonna go through each of these. I, I do have also a paper towel here 
ready to go. And so, and I also have an acrylic block. So we'll be able to test out those markers and see how that water, you know, effect will work with them. So let's start with the first one. And I don't think they have like names of the colors, but to me, this kind of looks like a gold color. So let's go ahead and start by, oh, and you see it's brush tip. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to just mark on the side over here. Oh, that looks really nice. Um, so it actually comes out really heavy. I'm going to skip over the watercolor for right now. I'm going to try on the craft. Oh, you can kind of really see how that shines through. It's pro the, the camera is probably not doing it justice. In person, I can really see it. Let's check out the black. So it tends to be a little lighter on the black, and it could be that this cardstock is just a little too porous. But, I mean, you still get a pretty good little shine. The shine really comes through on that craft. Um, let's try the watercolor effect. So I'm gonna just mark a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much because I'm not gonna be doing like a whole project. But I've got this here. Let me just take the my watercolor brush and I'm gonna first just kind of wipe it because I think I didn't get a chance to clean it after the last project. Okay, that's probably close enough. Um, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna squeeze it a tiny bit and get a little bit of water out. Okay, look at that. Yeah, this is gonna work for watercoloring. Now the color might be a little bit off just because again, I did not fully wash my brush from my previous project. So it's a light color, but you could, I mean, you could tell the, I mean, this is, this is pretty much just like a watercolor. So that is really neat. I mean, that makes these markers even more of a better investment. So I'll just kind of do a little thing. You can kind of see, and of course this will look a little shiny, but once it dries, I wonder if it'll have a little bit more of a metallic sort of hue to it. But look how you can see like on the white color versus watercolor versus craft color versus black. I mean, this marker looks like it's four different markers, doesn't it? I'm excited now. Let's go through the rest of these. Not that I wasn't excited before, but let's go through the rest. So now we have silver. Okay, so I'm gonna just do, that's really pretty too. Man, something about that craft color that it just really shines. So I'm gonna do all four swatches and then I'll pick it up and show you what the final one will look like. Now, it, it looks really light here and that could very well be because I did put quite a bit of water on this. I really wanted to kind of see what that was gonna look like. But I think overall, I mean, I think it's still, still looking pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now this next one is a darker, maybe almost like a bronze, I would say, would probably be the best way I could describe that one. Let's see. Yeah, they're definitely like a bronze. <gasps> oh, I was supposed to watercolor, oops. That's okay, we'll still get a little watercolor in. So, oh, and I haven't showed, I didn't get to show you. So let me do a little bit of watercolor on this one. I'll just watercolor over here on the side. No big deal. Like you can kind of tell the, the metallic on these. Let me see. Let me try. Is this is that's a really pretty uh, bronzy color too. Just add a little bit of water. So you can kind of see. Yeah, what, what I'm noticing, at least while the watercolor is wet, the metallic does not shine through as much as it does on the paper. So like the metallic pigment does not come through as much, um, but it's still really pretty. So we'll let those dry and we'll see how what happens. This one I would say is more like, um, maybe like a rose gold. I, I would say would be my best kind of guess on that. So it's color. Yeah, it, it seems to get lost a little bit, and I'll even color a little over here so you can kind of see the difference. It seems to get lost a little bit in that black, and I, and I don't know, it, it definitely shines. Like, you can definitely see it, but for some reason on that craft, it just really comes through. And I don't know if it has, a, it's a difference, again, with the porousness of the paper. This one, I believe, is Michael's brand, the Recollections, Michael's uh, kind, and this one is the Hobby Lobby. And I, I, I think I mentioned in my last video, I like Michael's cardstock better than I like Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby tends to go on sale much more. So I definitely have this in my stash and I usually will reach for it, especially if I'm going to do layers. 
but you can kind of see, I mean, like that shine is just a little bit bolder on the craft than on the other, on the black one. So let's go ahead and just add a little bit here. Oh, that's, that's a gorgeous color. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. You guys, I mean, you can't even see it in through the camera, I'm pretty sure, but it's really gorgeous in real life. Real, real pretty. Okay. Yeah, these are going to be great for watercoloring, I think. And, and splatters. I do like to do splatters, and I think that is really going to be a great option there, too. Okay, so now this one is sort of like a, like a rose, maybe, color. Let's see. Let's see what, what kind of difference it has with that one, too. Oh, it more, has more of like a purple tone. Yeah, it's getting lost on this black. Um, let's try a little bit of watercolor. And you see, I'm just adding a tiny bit. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Now, of course, if you want a really thick hue, like a really dark tone, then you may want to use a little bit more marker, like on, the, on your watercolor, and less water. But um, it, it just, it's really pretty either way. This one, yeah, definitely has like a purpley tone. That's pretty. It is still pretty. Okay, so let me dry this and then I'll pick it up and we'll look at, we'll do a little assessment before we move into page two. So here's what you see. The first five colors. Again, that one was marker, but the watercolor is around it. So it's really light. The watercolor is a really pretty light color. And I'm trying to see, I do see some sheen. I do, especially in that silver one. I see some sheen in that. A little bit. It's not super obvious, but this is also not watercolor paper. So I think watercolor paper would probably have a slightly different effect also. So I really I like that. I think craft, man, that craft is my favorite. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so that was our first sheet. So I'm gonna just put this aside so just uh, so I don't get transfer, you know, onto my different sheets. So I'm gonna put this aside, but then we'll come back and we'll look at all 10 colors at the end, okay? So I'm gonna put this aside for now. Okay, so now we're moving into the second half of the colors and these are like the jewel tones. These are really pretty, the blues and the greens. So this first one, I didn't get to show you. This first one's like a bluish dark, like a like almost like navy, like a navy, I would say. So let's try the marker. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that craft. It is just stunning. Like that color is really pretty. Let's try the watercolor. I'm just putting a little bit. Yeah, this this is definitely water soluble. The water, um, it's it's made with water. Like you can tell, it's water based. Really pretty. So so pretty. This is a really pretty color. That blue. Let me just dry this up. Okay. And this one's like a. I would say like an emerald. I know it's probably hard to tell. Again, on camera, it doesn't do it justice. But this is more like an emerald color, like a, a bold green, but like a like a bluish green. Maybe even close to teal. Oh, look at that. Like peacock. Peacock would be a perfect. Yeah. I'm almost half tempted to go see if I have another um, kind of black cardstock just to see if it makes a difference. The brand. That would probably be maybe good for another video. Maybe we'll try to see what it looks like with different cardstocks, the same color. But this is a, such a pretty color. I think this is one of my favorite colors. Really pretty, really, really pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, now we have a sort of lighter green. Okay, and this is, it, I was gonna start to do the watercolor. This is, um, oh, look at that. It's really bold, really, really bold green. It's like cut grass, like freshly cut grass is how I would explain that. It is, it is really pretty. I'm probably going to say pretty about 20 times more in this video, but look at that. So, so, so cute. Look at this. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So this is really a great set, I think. Um, again, I paid $3.24 for this set. And I, I mean, I feel like it's definitely worth the money. Um, that's like 32 cents or 33 cents per marker. I feel like that's definitely worth it. 
Now this one is more of a purple, but it's like a, like a plum, I would say, color. But these colors are gorgeous. Look at that. So, so pretty. Let me add just a tiny bit here. That's such a pretty color. So pretty. When it's faded and then when it's like much darker. So, so pretty. Okay, I'll try to stop saying that word. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now this one is like a lighter purple. So let's see what the difference is between those two. Oh, this one's kind of has more of maybe like a blue tone to it, whereas this other one has more of like a red tone to it. Okay, okay. I do like purple. Now, I didn't put a lot of water, so let's see if we can do like an ombre effect. But that's pretty. That's still pretty. Yeah. Sorry. I'll owe a dollar to the jar, I guess, because I keep saying the word. Okay, so this is such a really gorgeous set of markers. Like, look at this set now. So, and I don't even think the camera is doing it justice. I'll see if I can get it in different lights. Obviously, these are still wet. Actually, these are still a little bit wet too. I can see them in certain areas. You probably see where it's a little shinier than others. But there's not like a hint of like glitter. I don't see like glitter. It's, there's a shimmer would, would be my better, my, the best way I can kind of describe it. It's It has a shine. So it has like a shimmer. But it's not like you don't physically see glitter. Okay. I don't know if that... That even makes sense, but look how pretty. Like, I'm I'm just super impressed at how those colors turned up on that craft paper. I, I bet it really has something to do with the quality of the paper. Because this one, again, I want to say this is the, the Hobby Lobby brand. And then this is the Michaels. Makes you want to run out and get Michaels, huh? Okay, so those were the markers. I think, I mean, I think they look pretty great. Um, let's look at both, or all 10 colors here all mark all 10 markers so you've got your first five which are like your metallic hues and this watercolor has dried gorgeous like it and again this is not watercolor paper um so these are your like more of your your actual metallic tone so you've got gold silver bronze rose gold and then this like purple kind of plummy color Whatever it is, it's just, it's gorgeous. So you see that shimmer. You see how the shimmer really shines. The more that it dries, I feel like the shinier that it gets. So you can kind of see the difference there. So pretty. And look at that on the craft. So, so gorgeous. Okay. Then you've got a second set of markers, a second half of the pack. And those are more of your actual jewel tone colors. So you've got your blues and your teals and your greens and then a couple different shades of purple, almost like a pinky purple and then like a blue purple. You know how like in the box of crayons, there's like red, blue and blue, red, or what, you know what I mean? Like there's two different ones, violet, red and red, violet or whatever. That's kind of what it seems like. You've got a couple different, like where the emphasis is on that color, one that has red and one that has blue. So pretty. Sorry, you guys it is it's so 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 gorgeous okay so those are the 10 colors these are the swatches that we did so I just wanted to take a second to just show you those in case you were on the fence of what those were going to look like I feel like this is a great bang for the buck because for three dollars and 24 cents you get 10 markers that not only work on white paper work on craft paper which is not every single type it definitely also works on black paper, which is very rare, right? But then also, it, it has a water component that I didn't even realize when I was purchasing it. It turns into a watercolor. So these are like extreme multi-use, multi-function type markers. That alone makes these actually pretty great. Um, I'm a little sad that they're on clearance, and so I know that not a lot of you will be able to find them. I am happy though that if you do find them, it's gonna be at a reduced price. And that is always my goal when I'm shopping for crafty supplies. And so uh, these are just really, really nice. I'll say that word, they're really gorgeous. 
So anyway, so again, this was the Paper Studio, the brush tip markers, metallic markers. They're 10 count, regular $12.99 on clearance for $3.24. And I just picked these up at my Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has been having this clearance sale for the last couple of weeks. My store is usually one of the last ones. So hopefully if you head out there this week, you'll find them. If not, I'm sorry. It's just that's kind of how Hobby Lobby clearance works. It, they put you know things out on sale on clearance and then from one week to the next things are either gone or they're marked down and so you kind of just have to kind of stick with it and kind of stay once you start seeing that people are posting Hobby Lobby clearance on YouTube you definitely want to check it out and just kind of start, start visiting your your local store if it's something that you want so again these are water soluble water based and they write on both light and dark paper I think these were pretty amazing let me know in the comments down below what do you think are these something that you would end up purchasing if you found them at your Hobby Lobby do you think that's worth the 324 um, and let me know too like what was your favorite color these are stunning absolutely stunning I think if I had to pick a color one I probably could not if I had to pick two I would pick the pink and the teal and probably because those are my two sort of favorite colors and they really stand out I think that teal that peacock and then this kind of um, it's like a, maybe like a fuchsia color, really pretty. So anyway, well, thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope I did not bore you to death, but I hope you got a little bit of entertainment and inspiration. And now you have an idea of what these will look like if you happen to either already have them and haven't tried them, or if you happen to find them and you purchase them. And I hope that you find that clearance price. If not, hold out. Go the following, go a couple days later, you likely will find it, okay? So again, this was at Hobby Lobby, and I'll link that video at the very end where I actually purchased all of these items. You can see all of the other great deals that I found. I won't be able to do like a testing of every single product, um, but you'll definitely start to see those same clearance products roll out in my videos over the next few weeks and months. So thanks again for watching, and as always, happy crafting! Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're able to find these markers if it's something that you want. If you haven't checked out my Hobby Lobby clearance haul, here's the video. Happy crafting.